In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Today the church remembers St. Anthony of Egypt. Uh, Anthony was really the first monk. Um, at the ripe age of 19 or 20, he impoverished himself. He was, uh, had some wealth and went to live in the desert as a hermit. And gradually, people flocked to him. And that really was the, the first beginnings of the monastic life in the church. He was a great defender of the doctrine of the divinity of Christ and helped fight Arianism. And he lived to be a ripe old age. He died in 351 at the age of 105. So living an austere life can be good for your health. Let us ask God for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came and called sinners, Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of your Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who brought the abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sin. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obeyed him. The word of the Lord. Be you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power, the Lord, will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is a princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever. 
Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why did the disciples of John and the disciples of Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them. Reading the wrong gospel. Excuse me. Should be Monday, right? This is the gospel for today. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. And this the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? How they went into the house of God with Avatar, who was high priest, and ate the bread of offering that only the priest can lawfully eat and share it with his companions? Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. So at this point in Mark's Gospel, the, uh, the opponents of Jesus are being introduced onto the stage of the Gospel. And of course, over time, their opposition to Jesus will strengthen and harden, and it will ultimately lead to his crucifixion. But today the controversy is over the Sabbath. And Jesus proclaims that he is Lord even of the Sabbath. And that would absolutely have been unthink of, unthinkable in the minds of the Pharisees and those who heard him say this. But the fact is that Jesus is Lord of everything and everyone. And I think the challenge for us today is to ask ourselves, in what areas of our lives have we segmented off and not let Jesus be the Lord of? Is it our grudges? Is it our pride? Is it some area of lust or some compulsion? But I suspect that most of us have parts of our lives that we exclude from Jesus and his grace. And the challenge today is not to be like the Pharisees in the gospel, but to realize Jesus is Lord of everyone and everything in our lives. And we are to live in such a way that his grace comes and touches us and even transforms those dark places of our lives into something new and different. So today as we we gather to celebrate the Eucharist and Thanksgiving for all that God has done for us, let us never forget God has more to do for us. We on our part have to open ourselves up to where grace has not been and grace has not touched and let Jesus touch and renew us ever more fully. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of our God. church throughout the world. May the Lord guide and prosper her and bestow upon her all heavenly graces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawyers and judges, may God guide them in serving truth and divine justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are persecuted for matters of conscience or conscience or faith, May the Lord give them courage and keep them from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all of us here. May the steadfast love and mercy of God draw us ever closer to him, who through the life and death of his son, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of all the faithful departed, may they, may they through the mercy of God, rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ralph Schif Schifkins, and for whom or what shall we pray? Lord, hear our prayer. For Charlie Potok, he'll be buried later this morning. For the happy repose of his soul, we pray. Lord, hear And entrusting the people of Ukraine to Our Lady, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we ask all these things through Christ, our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, may these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony be acceptable to you and grant that release from earthly attachments. We may have our riches in you alone. Pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and you offer to us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. O oh Lord, nourished for our healing by your sacraments, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed, just as by your grace St. Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. There's no adoration today. We have a funeral coming in with viewing beforehand, so we uh, need to Liam needs to turn the church around after Mass. So thank you for being here today. I wish you a good day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you.